next. Hi guys, it's Bubs. So it's been a week I think since I've um, made a video because I was off to England for a few days. So I had my mini break just slacking in my ass and watching Boys Before Flowers. When I say Boys Before Flowers, I mean the drama, like not actual boys and flowers. Anyway, so I'm going to go to work in about two hours and I thought, mm, two hours, I've got enough time to make a video just to say hello tag that's been circulating YouTube I think and um, I've been tagged quite a lot so I can't remember who I was tagged by but if you see me doing this video you know that you know I read your tags. So the tag is um, naming six products that you can't live without and within the six products um, three of them has to be a makeup one, um, a skincare product and a hair product and then the other three could be anything you like. I know that you all could name at least three of my swear by products but nonetheless if you don't let's go. So I'm going to start off with um, my first skincare product that I can't live without and this is my Laneige Multi Cleanser. It's amazing this stuff. I can't even imagine myself using any other cleanser because nothing will compare to this. Absolutely nothing. I have used a big range of cleansers before. Um, drugstore to high end such as Dior, Chanel, Estee Lauder, um, just a whole bunch including drugstore brands like Neutrogena, Clearasol, just lo loads and loads of stuff. Laneige really works for me. This cleanser is just amazing. So first thing about this is this removes all the makeup from your face and I know loads of girls like to remove their makeup with a like a makeup wipe first and then cleanse their face. Now I don't recommend girls to use makeup wipes so often because this actually causes an imbalance to the pH of your skin. So what I like to do is I just use my Laneige cleanser and this really really cleans absolutely everything. So this product has microcellulose beads and these particles actually break apart and they remove all the makeup residues in your skin. At the same time it will exfoliate your skin gently so it will clean out your pores, you know, give you a nice gentle cleanse. Those are really great vitamins and this is going to keep your skin elastic and firm. It's just a little tiny tiny amount and it will foam up and clean your skin. And the good thing about foaming cleansers is the fact that they are more gentle for your skin. So if you have really sensitive skin, you want to use something that you know works well in the foam, lathers up, cleans my skin really well, and um, it stops me from breaking out. I remove my makeup, it exfoliates it gently, and at the same time keeps it looking soft. So I really love this. It will have to be my um, Mac Studio Finish Concealer. Here it is. Um, lots of girls out there, they say, you know, if I had to choose just one makeup product, I would choose mascara, eyeliner, foundation, I don't know. But um, for me, it's definitely concealer. I have dark circles underneath my eyes. And um, I actually don't use concealer to cover my blemishes at all because, because I feel that like concealers, um, the consistency is far too thick to cover your spots. The MAC Studio Finish Concealer works really well. This one is an NC30 so it's a bit darker than my natural skin tone and there's a reason that it's darker because what this would do is it would neutralize all the dark circles underneath my eyes and um, make it less visible. I also use this for the shadows um, around my nose and my lips and um, that's really all I need sometimes. This concealer doesn't give me like little fine lines underneath the eyes. It doesn't crack or kick. Um, it just moisturizes it and it doesn't make my eye makeup run because if you use a concealer that's too liquidy, you find that smudges your makeup. And if you use a concealer that's too drying, it kicks and makes little like lines, which is just bleh. So this is just uber. You guys will realize that in every single one of my hair tutorials, I use the Sebastian Crude Clay and I don't switch and change a lot. You know, you don't see me using different types of hairsprays, you don't see me using this and that. I always just use the Sebastian Clay because it does everything for me. This product turns a bad hair day into a good hair day. And even though lately I don't even do my hair, I mean, this is just the way my hair looks if I wake up because I just don't. I'm just so lazy, I don't even bother straightening it and I just let it have the natural waves in it. But this is just 
really great if you want some body in your hair. It will hold your hair. Um, it will give you that beach look. It will give you that sleek look. It can give you any look that you want to achieve. It's actually the best hair product that I've ever, ever come across. My MAC 187 brush and it's right here and I just cleaned it so that's why it's a little damp but I use this brush for everything. I use this to you know dab on my foundation, I use this to apply powder, I use this to apply my blush and I just love it because I have a light wear when it comes to makeup. I don't like to apply loads on. So this really gives me that nice airbrushed effect. Um, it's not heavy at all, you know, something that you can build up and it's so soft and it's just really nice. It picks up little but enough so you get that really nice sort of like all over um, airbrush sort of look and I just use this brush. I don't even need a good boogie. I don't need a foundation brush really. I don't need a blush brush. This brush does it all for me. A Stila convertible color. This is in Jabira. This is a nice product because it's compact, it's small, it's something that you could apply on really quickly, you know, you don't need a brush, something you can pop in your bag on the go, it's got nice packaging, it's got a mirror on it, it's very handy, and one of the best ways to make yourself like more alert and more lively is by putting some color to your complexion. So the Jabir color looks like this. It's a subtle peach color. It doesn't have any shimmers or any types of, you know, flexes in it. It's just pure color and something that you can, you know, really build upon. So I already have some on now, as you can see, but um, the camera doesn't pick up very well. So normally I just use two fingers, you know, sort of work it outwards, just patting it. And it gives me a really, really nice subtle type of natural glow. So I'm not really a bronzer girl, but I like blushes because I think it just makes you look more cuter. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly guys, I can't choose between my Laneige Snow Crystal Duo Foundation and my BB Queen. They both work really well. I mean, this one glides on like water. This one feels like my own skin. It's just mean to choose one because I love them both. I just... Oh. Now to the next topic is the response of the dance video. Thank you so much everyone. I never expected such a positive response. You all were so supportive. Um, especially um, about the ankle thing. And I just want to say that all your comments that you left I will keep them close to my heart and though I know that I could have danced better um, y'all just made it mean y'all made me feel really good about myself afterwards because I was really worried how you guys will think of the dance especially when I knew it wasn't you know my best standard but you know you guys saw it the other way around and you know told me how it has inspired you and everything and I just want to say that I created the video as a symbol of my gratitude so whatever you felt afterwards it's coming from yourself you know I just did a little dance and some scenery in the background it all comes from yourself okay Thank you for being so sweet and you know looking out for me and I know I really shouldn't be saying this but it doesn't really bother me that much. I mean some people are saying that you know people are making money of your videos, they're you know you have no credit at all, they're just getting revenue but I didn't make videos to get revenue, I didn't make videos to get credit or whatsoever, I just purely made them to share with people because I enjoy them. and. If it could help somebody around the world, then it really doesn't bother me that much. I, this is just my thought, you know, obviously they are doing, are clearly wrong because they're stealing videos and not even asking for permission, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Hmm.